So Pinterest recently-ish came out with a new feature called Pinterest collage pins or Pinterest collages essentially. And they are starting to gain more and more popularity. So I wanted to create a dedicated tutorial on what exactly are these Pinterest collages, how to use them, and of course, how to use them to grow your audience or make more money essentially. So in this video, we're gonna be walking through just that. Before we do jump in, I do have to mention that this video is in partnership with Pinterest. They're a great partner of the channel. So I'm excited to be making this content. So let's jump right in to the Pinterest collages. So with Pinterest collages, I figured it'd be helpful to show you exactly kind of what they look like. And Pinterest actually has this account here called Pinterest collages, where you can look through and see examples of how people are using these. Essentially, these are like mood boards that are also shoppable. So you can put together a lot of things and have them be shoppable, which is something that I like as uh, someone that does affiliate marketing. So you can see here, there's lots of different things that you can do. You have like Halloween mood, thrift my look, DIY birthday greetings, location collage, cute animal backgrounds. There's lots of different things that you could build these on. And like I said, if you're kind of new to, to collages and wanting to see what's possible, I would encourage you to come into these boards and just like look at some of the ones that Pinterest have curated here. And you can see this is what they basically look like, essentially taking a bunch of clipped images and putting them all together. Now, previously, when you would create these, you would do them in like another platform, you'd have to build them outside of Pinterest. But now with the collages feature, you can actually build these directly in Pinterest, which is awesome. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And the benefits of doing it and the whole process essentially. And in order to start creating collages on Pinterest, you do have to do them on the mobile app. So I have the mobile app here. We're gonna go down to the bottom here. We're gonna hit this little plus button. And then instead of creating a pin, we're gonna click on this thing that says collages. Once you click on collages, it's going to open up a couple different options for you. And there are a lot of options here. And I wanna kind of explain the process of creating these collages. So up here at the top, you can see cutouts for you. And if you click inside of here, it will have cutouts that Pinterest has basically already cut out for you based on your search history, essentially what you've been looking for on Pinterest. So that's one option that you have. The next is your boards. So you can go through and look at some of the things in your boards and make cutouts on them. And then the last option here is the recently saved. And that's where you can see some of the recent things that you have saved inside of here. When you're looking at this, you'll notice that some are already kind of cut out like this Christmas tree right here. And then others are just normal pins where nothing is cut out. If you want to go to a normal pin and cut something out, all you need to do is click on the pin here. You can see there's sneakers right here. And then it will kind of cut out the little shape for you automatically. So you can hit add this and it will add it to your collage. And then from here, you can go and add more. So you can click add. And then if we say I wanted to add more shoes, I can type in shoes here, search for that. And then I could simply go and find more of these shoes. And you can see it has popular cutouts here, which is really nice. Or I can grab some more of these and then have them cut out and then add them to the collage. Now I'm going to go back here because I want to show you a couple other options. Because if you're like me, you aren't super artistic. And so sometimes it's good to have a template to start off with. So I'm going to discard this. And I want to show you when you first come to this view right here and you click uh, collages, there is this option instead of going into right for looking for pins. If you hit the down and scroll over here, you can see you can click pick up where you left off or you can click on this button that says start with a template, which is really nice because then it gives you a starting point. So you can click on this and you can see there are lots of different templates that you can use. So you can use top picks. There's like six of them up here for the top picks, or you can scroll down and there's specific like niche specific, I guess, templates that you can use. So you see the birthday wishes, and then you have like capture the Virgo vibes, mood board collage edition, and then like create your daily reminder. So there's all these different templates that you can use. So if I wanted to use one of these, I can click use this template. And then you can see it'll pop up here and I can edit this template. I can move things around or I can add in my own images. So that's one option for you in case you wanted to start off from scratch essentially, but I am going to be starting from scratch in this example to show you kind of what that looks like. So we're going to discard this once again, and we are going to hit the plus button here. And specifically the type of collages that I'm going to be using is for affiliate marketing specifically. So I want to go through and kind of show you the process on how I would do this. So I'm going to come over here to your boards and inside of your boards, this is really nice. If you're doing affiliate marketing with these collages, as you can see here, the top board for me is your products that you've tagged. And inside of here, these are the, the products that I've tagged affiliate links with inside of Pinterest in my previous post. So I, if I wanted to, I could just grab this. We're going to do this Christmas tree example. I could grab one of these Christmas trees here. I can add it. And then that has my product affiliate link already tagged to it. So then I can add in all the Christmas trees and then they're ready to go. Now, before I continue on with creating this collage, I do want to show you how to get your your product links show up how they do right here in mine real quick so that you have that as a reference in case you're wondering like how the heck do I get my product links to show up in that view so let me show you how to do that real fast on desktop so in order to pull in a already tagged product into your collage that has an affiliate link in it, you do have to post pin with that tag product. So let me show you what I mean. So if we come over here to create, and then what you want to do on desktop is cl click idea pin. You can do this on mobile as well. I'm just gonna do it on desktop because it's easier for the tutorial. We're gonna hit idea pin. And then what we want to do is choose our file here. So I'm gonna grab our Christmas trees example here. I'm gonna grab the image and then we're gonna add that here. 
and then you can go and add a title description, a, a link and a board, just like you normally would. But this is the part that is really important if you want these to show up in your tagged products. Here you want to add the specific product. And in order to add the product, you want to come to Amazon or to whatever affiliate program you're using. Make sure it is compliant with Pinterest. Amazon affiliate program is, so that's why I use Amazon a lot. You come to your Amazon affiliate product link here. And if you aren't familiar with the Amazon Associates program, I do have a full tutorial on how to do this. And I'm just gonna move myself out of the way here. Once you're a part of the Amazon Associates program, when you come to a product link, so this is the Christmas tree right here, up in this top right-hand corner, you'll see this thing that says get link. If you click on that, it will then ask for, it will give you the ID here. I like to do the full link here. I find it is easier for it, Pinterest to find the images. So we're gonna grab this entire link and then we're gonna come back over to Pinterest and we're going to add the product here and we're going to use a link to tag it. We're gonna search for that and it looks like I got the short link there. Okay, and then it's going to pull up all the images that are associated with this. And one thing before you select a image and that is important to do is to flip on this little box to make sure that you are compliant. You can see you are required to disclose if you may receive compensation for including this product. So you wanna flip that on if you're gonna be sending them to an affiliate link so you're compliant. And then you can select one of the images here. So we're gonna just grab this one right here. I try to get the one that has the highest quality. So when we are putting it to our collage, and then from here you can hit publish and then it will show up in your product dashboard or your tag products when you're creating your collages. Hey Corbin here after the video has already been shot just a quick little interruption to clarify something you can when you come in here to create some people will be able to see the product pin link in their pins and some people will be able to see it in the idea pins. You can see for me if I click on pin here that little link to uh, add the product is not there but for some people it is. Mine has never showed up there so that's why I always just go to the idea pins so I would encourage you oops I would encourage you to check out both of these to see which one has the product tags. Um, if yours isn't in the idea pins, then check out the uh, the normal pins. If it's in the normal pins, then you can just do it from there. So just to clarify there. Now you know how to tag your products inside of there and get them into your boards. You can see what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be creating a post on the top five Christmas trees that I found on Amazon. So these are the five right here that I've already previously tagged in, in previous pins. So I'm gonna go and add all of these Christmas trees to my collage. So I have one there. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna add the second one here. And then we're gonna add the third one here. And then we got the fourth, so we're just gonna repeat this, get all of these Christmas trees in here, and then this one right there. So now we have our five different Christmas trees, and this is where your creativity comes into play. I am certainly not uh, claiming to be the best at creating these collages, so take that for what it's worth, but here you, you can see I can drag and drop and kind of move things around. A couple other things that you can do is you can click on these, and when you click on a specific image, you can see there are options here. If you click the little motion button, you can see I could add motion to the Christmas tree here. I can click and I can change kind of the vibe or the colors. I don't want to do that because I want the natural colors to be in there. And then last thing that you can do is add a border. So you can see there are different borders here that I can add if I wanted to. I'm not going to be using that feature, but I wanted to show it to you as an option in case you wanted to. And then I also don't want the motion here. So we're going to exit out of that. And then we can hit done here. Now, another thing that you can do is you can see as I'm moving these around, you can add text. So this is going to be really helpful for creating these. And we're going to get these kind of all bunched together just like this. I'm, I'm going to play with these for a minute, but we're going to add the, the text here. And then we want to do top five on Amazon. So we're gonna put these top five Christmas trees on Amazon. We're gonna put this up here. And then if you wanted to change the background, you can change the background here. So if you click on the background, you can see I can change the color to something else. Like say that I want it to be more of a red color, I could do that or maybe a black might look good for this, let's see. Oh, I like the black, it helps the color stand out a little bit more, maybe that gray. No, I think I'm gonna go black. And then of course that makes it so that our text is now hidden here. So we want to change the text color here. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna change this to, yeah, there we go, a little bit of red there. And then we're gonna hit done. So now we have top five Christmas trees on Amazon. And then we have our trees kind of cut out here. And then if somebody clicks on each one of these, they're gonna to go to our affiliate link. Like it's tagged with those. Now I'm not claiming that this is the most beautiful image. I would encourage you to take a little bit more time on yours, but I am just wanna walk you through the example from beginning to end so you can see the entire process. Now, if you, for whatever reason, you can see a little bit of the, the, the white backgrounds here um, because I did put on a black background. If you did wanna edit those as well, you can also change the cutout. So you can click here and then I can also add, erase or shape different things. So if you're really particular about the white showing, you can change that. I mean, you can take a little bit more time there, but once again, I'm just trying to this kind of quick and dirty. We're just showing the example here. So we have top five Christmas trees on Amazon. This is looking pretty good. If I wanted to change the background, I can come in here. I can come over here and I can add a custom background, but we're gonna keep it black. And then the last thing is you can add like squirrelies. Like say I wanted to add an arrow or something, you could do that. But once again, we're, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna re redo that one. Then we're gonna hit next here. And these are already tagged with our product. So what we can do is we can add a title here. So we can say top five Christmas trees on Amazon. And then we can add a description here. I bought 
and this is no joke. I really did buy the top rated Christmas trees on Amazon, set them all up in our living room. My wife came home and she was like, what is going on? And I did it in like October because I wanted to get the video up before Christmas. So yeah, there's, <laughs> so I actually did do this. Again, I was, what I say is it's always good to have the product in hand. Now, so we can see we added our title, our description, and then this is something that's a little bit different with the collages. You can add them to a profile here if you want to, or you can just, or, or to a board, or you can just publish them to the profile. And then you can enable remixing if you want it. So if you wanted somebody to come in and use your board kind of as a template, as well and then remix it to their own liking you could do that depending on what you're trying to accomplish you may or may not want to keep this on i'm going to keep this off because it is like more of an affiliate play and i don't want people just taking this and using it for their own even though honestly this isn't the best example here but just something to think about and then you can do your alt text here and then we're going to hit create and then that is going to save it to our profile so i'll go back over now to our profile we'll refresh this here and then there is our top five christmas trees on amazon here and then if somebody comes into one of these and clicks on like say they like this christmas tree they click on it and then they visit it's going to take them to Amazon that has our Amazon affiliate link associated with it if you made sure that you took it from your product link tag. Now there is our beautiful looking top five Christmas trees on Amazon that's ready to go and our beautiful collage there. Now, of course, with any kind of pin, there are lots of different options that you can do. This can be used for all different types of people, e-commerce, bloggers, affiliate marketers, people wanting inspiration, people just wanting to share a mood board like for a wedding or for a birthday party or something like that. The opportunities are honestly endless with this. Some best practices just to keep in mind is that when you are taking collages and putting them together, obviously the quality of the image is gonna be really important. So when you are creating product pins or anything specific, you wanna get the highest quality image possible inside of there. That's just one thing to think about when you are creating those pins. And then also you can naturally spread keywords inside of the description and the title. And then also when you are creating the title, like you notice I put the title there, top five Christmas trees on Amazon as another keyword option, both in the actual mood board itself and then in the title of the pin. And then the nice thing about these, just like with any other type of pin, you can go into your Pinterest analytics and see how they're performing over time. Of course, you are gonna wanna test multiple different mood boards and different variations to see what works best for your audience. Maybe a more minimalist approach that really applies to your audience or sometimes just a blast of a ton of different products or our different images is best for your audience. It just kind of depends. So these mood boards are a newer thing, but I'm starting to see them pop up more and more inside of Pinterest, especially under the younger demographic. Seems like they're really resonating. So I would encourage you to give them a test and see if your audience loves them and we'll see it in the next video.